welcome to Hiroshima Peace. Good morning, good morning peeps from another day here in Japan. Another vlog ready to rock and roll. Uh, if you haven't already watched my other videos and vlogs, I'll link the series here. Um, we're at day three or four. Uh, woke up to this spectacular view from my hotel. Stayed here for one night. Um, it was the Resol Hotel. Last night I had a bath. Not a bad gig this was for one night. Um, anyway, in this vlog, um, I am going to take you along the journey with me. We are today going from Kyoto to Osaka. Um, today, we are doing a tour around Kyoto. Um, it's going to be a big, long day as usual. I'm heading myself down to breakfast. Let's go. So we had the place to ourselves. So daily breakfast is included in our 10 day tour with Tripodil and each day has some unique options available. Hey peeps, we have travelled about two hours from Gifu. We have arrived at Fukushima Ngari Shrine. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll put the deta details down here. Um, we are here for an hour and 15. Let's go. Don't you want the free time? Don't you want to go past through there? Oh, magical. It's very, very, very busy. The reality of this place, it is crazy, crazy busy. It's quarter to 12. A ton of tourists. You need to come early in the morning if you want to snap yourself a really good shot. But anyway, we came, we saw. Okay, so those main Tory gates were absolutely chaotic. If you go up and down, take your right, you're going to find this nice quiet spot. Um, and it looks a little bit like this. So we got that little Tory gate there. And then we have this one here. Pop yourself here because it's definitely a lot quieter. Okay, so the time now is almost quarter to one. As you notice now, the crowds are not as busy. Is that because they're already up there at the Tory gates? Anyway, we are on to our next location. I have 10 minutes to spare before I need to be at the meeting point and we are out of here. So about a 40 minute bus ride, we have made it to our next spot, which is the Bamboo Forest. This place looks as, as hectic as the last place. But anyway, we're here for about 20 minutes, so let's go. They always do the movie and uh, they do all this uh, shooting for the drama uh, over, here. Yeah, over here. So once they go inside there, you can see the, the, the way a little bit. So the last pit stop for today is the Golden Pavilion. We're here for about 40 minutes. It was a little bit of a, a bus journey from the bamboo forest and that will be us done for today. This one is for money, prosperity and also for harmony. 
This place is crowded as hell. Far out there. Crazy busy. Crazy busy. But it truly is pretty spectacular. So I would suggest that you get to the Golden Pavilion at four o'clock because that's what time we got there and it certainly was golden. The sun was beaming over that building and it absolutely looked spectacular. We are currently in Shinko Sane train station. I'm not going to get lost today because I have my tickets. We have the guide, we. He's going to get us safely to Hiroshima. The train does not wait. It's a bullet train. It's going to be a long, exciting day. So let's go. This, uh, uh, this uh, new nuclear, the heat of the nuclear, the uh, titanium, yeah, uranium, yeah. The Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum, one of the most visually confronting exhibits I've seen. This place hits to the core and represents a legacy of this historic day in Japan. Add it to your itinerary when you're here. A single atomic bomb indiscriminately killed tens of thousands of people, profoundly disrupting and altering the lives of survivors. Through belongings left by the victims, a bomb artifacts, testimonies of a bomb survivors and related materials, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum conveys to the world the horrors and the inhumane nature of nuclear weapons and spreads the message of no more Hiroshima's. So our one hour tour timetable in the museum wasn't long enough but highly recommend. Next up we're having a little wander around the memorial park. <laughs>
Lord. Okay, we're taking ourselves for a bit of a spin on a little bit of a walking tour. And as usual, I am behind everyone. We have just trotted ourselves past the Hiroshima epicenter and I need to get out of here. Getting our tickets. Quarter to one. And we're heading ourselves to the ferry. So we're at Miyajima okay, we Island. We are at this uh, Miyajima Island already. And then uh, we are heading to this Tori Gate where we will take a little bit of time for our lunch. Then we continue to our uh, visiting place that's called Itsukushishima <coughs> Shrine. Yeah? Let's go. So we have one hour to wander around, get ourselves something to eat before we head down to the Tori Gates. I'm going to be a little bit adventurous maybe today, try some authentic Japanese food, so let's go. Try some food. Mm. Potato, walk and eat yakinama with oysters. I think the ones with the lines are the good ones, and I think it's really about the oysters, there's so many oyster ones along here. So many different shops. So many different types of foods. Oh, what's that? Machu macaroons. Asparagus. I'm not too sure I'm being too adventurous, peeps. I've got this cheese and bacon wrapped fish cake thing. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a taste test and see how it, how it tastes. It really isn't my cup of tea. Oh, sorry. It kind of looks like, um, it is like fishy. Have a look in there. And it's like, it's kind of like, <gasps> shit. No, no, no. Okay, it wasn't really that bad, but we were pre-warned. There's this thing here. This little thing, this little guy here came and scared me. Tried to steal my damn food. Look, he's naughty as he that's what he said. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. He's doing what that. Oh, he said it's like that, eh? Look. Oh. You're going to get jumped. No, I'm doing my No, no, no. Give it to them. Just drop it on the floor. <laughs> okay, so it's ice cream time. I'm going to get one of those matcha ones because uh, I've been wanting to try one of those. A green tea ice cream. Matcha flavour. Thank you. I'm being outrageous, Pete. I got myself a matcha ice cream. I've been trying to get one of these the whole time I've been here. I'm going to give it a bit of a taste test. Just tastes like green tea, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Beautiful Tory Gate. Okay, it's very busy, very touristy, as you can see. But because the tide is out, we're going to be lucky enough that we're going to be able to touch it. We're actually going to be able to touch this uh, Tory gates. So let's go. Let's go and touch these Tory gates. Right. We can say we can say we touched it. Touching the Tory gates. Touch it. 
touch the Tory gate because the tide is out. That means it's lucky apparently, isn't it? Island. We've been here for what two hours? Yeah, two hours. We've been here two hours. You could spend all day here. There is so much to see, so much to do. Lots of kind of authentic Japanese. You might have to uh, tackle those little wee deers or those little wee antelope things that are hanging around trying to steal your food. But yeah, we don't have the luxury of time on a tour. Uh, we're on a mad dash back to the boat. So let's go. Let's take this one. This one. Got myself this one. Right, we each got ourselves something to eat on the way back. I got myself a banana. Elizabeth's got herself a banana. He's got himself a beef. Let's do the taste test. This tastes like banana, eh? It's all right, with a bit of sprinkle, a bit of chocolate. Fondue banana. Fondue banana. beach here so as we stroll our way back to the boat along the beach like Will had mentioned earlier this is probably the only beach that we have seen here in Japan we've got our I got my little stick in hand because just in case you didn't know is Japan actually does not have many rubbish bins you have to take your rubbish with you everywhere um, on another note Yesterday and today, those tours were not included as part of the trip deal. You did actually have to pay them as a separate, but they are both, at least, both definitely worth it. Um, as usual, peeps, if you have liked my vlog, give me a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and if you've got any comments, comment below, and I will spot you in the next vlog, peeps. Boo yeah!